Hi, everyone. We're going to be working again today with Keiko. I've already filmed um, her first session. She has a parallel belief system. And so there's three whole belief systems that are working together. And we um, we actually videoed one before. And if you wanted to refer to that, I'm sure I'll link it somewhere for you to do that. We went into a little more detail on that one. I was explaining more about like the belief code as we went. But today we're going to do like a little bit faster version of it, um, or at least Maybe not as much explaining because sometimes <laughs> I can't help myself. I have to talk about this because I'm so excited about this belief code, right? Hey, yes. what was your experience? Are you enjoying belief code? I am. It's been really helpful um, for sure. And I'm really curious to see what uh, all these parallel ones are. <laughs> what, hap what, what happens, right? What happens mm -hmm. next? So um, the last time we brought up a whole bunch of stuff that at some points, it some of them because when the beliefs come up sometimes they don't always lo uh, logically consciously make sense to you right right um, yeah but as they went on what was your experience that it was starting to tell a story a bit more exactly like at first I was like wait okay I'm not sure I I'm you know I'm getting that one but then as I'm listening um more got revealed and then like I got a hit so it was like oh yeah I remember and it was a memory that kind of flashed in my mind so I think it's really cool to just see what unfolds and um yeah I just kind of I guess allow the process to go <laughs> that's the whole thing right just to be allowing you know the stuff's gonna yeah mm -hmm. We're connecting with subconscious mind. Keiko subconscious mind is going to tell me everywhere to go because this stuff is subconscious. Like we're not totally aware of this. Uh, I will say that things that beliefs that we know we have that we're that are consciously aware of, you can only consciously change those. You have to make change. You have to create a new belief, right? And you can do that with affirmations and things like that, right? Or just mm -hmm. repeating pretty much yeah. taking the action to, um, change those beliefs but here we're pull pulling up all this subconscious stuff um i will just explain quickly that it is like the way they look at it with the belief code it is like a tree you have the soil the roots the trunk and the leaves and the branches um it starts off we start off releasing for you the things up at the top the things that are more present that you can maybe even recognize a little bit more that we call the leaves and the and the branches right those are um, negative programs. And then you come into the trunk, which is where limiting beliefs are. Then you go into the root and there's a faulty core belief, like the thing that got it all started off. But sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes there's a faulty core identity, which is the soil that the tree was planted in. So we're looking to uproot the whole entire thing, throw it away. <laughs> right? We don't need it anymore. We're just releasing it. So we can bring in, you know, new experience, right? And not be blocked. And when you have something that just keeps, for some reason, not changing, no matter what kind of work you do on it, probably there's a belief system there. So let's see. So Keiko, um, so the focus is creating online courses, right? Around intuitive animal care. These are my quickie session uh, notes, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> um, feeling hesitation. Is it the timing? Are you not good enough? Like not really knowing feeling like there's a block, right, Keiko? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, yes. And so that's what you're working on here. And we brought up a whole bunch of stuff in the last one, but there's two more running with it. <laughs> so it's like, we, we are so curious to see what all of that is. <laughs> and I know, because it's been really interesting. I've, I'm, I know I'm really good at, you know, like the animal care, because I have the farm and everything. And I've been doing it for a long time. And on, you know, I, I help a lot of people out. But I've been like, you know, I, I'm also a former teacher. So I was like, well, you know, it'd be fun to put together an online class. Yet, like, I've just always felt this, like, almost like an invisible, like, oh, maybe not yet, not yet, not yet. And and I'm like, okay, but I really want to do this because I want to be able to help more people. And then when, you know, I talked to you, you it was like, there's three parallel belief system like of course okay there's something there that has to be released so that I can move forward so it's really amazing because there's no way I would have really been able to come up with realizing that I had like three different parallel belief systems that was kind of preventing me from moving forward and <laughs> yeah that's amazing that you you've come to here and I, I just want to see what the other two are so I can get rid of it <laughs> Yeah, you know, and that's the beauty of it too, is that we just don't know. 
-hmm. even if we've done a lot like so belief code can help there's different types of belief systems i'm not going to teach them all here right now except for the one that's called a partial where because you know i've worked in all kinds of different modalities where i've done things with releasing beliefs and even on some of my own issues, I had like a bunch of leftover beliefs. We call it like a partial belief system where you've done so much work on it. You, maybe you cut that tree down, you took it away, but you left some logs laying on the ground. Like there's some leftover stuff. So you might find a pile of these old beliefs. And, you know, I didn't know they were there, right? I, you know, some, I thought, well, I've handled this whole thing. Why is this coming <laughs> <Right>. up? <laughs> So it's kind of nice when you just keep, you know, testing through. I'll be testing, muscle testing with my um, fingers here. And um, we'll, we'll just see what happens. Okay. So you ready? Ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm so ready. let's just take a moment of silence, right? Just to call in the energies to be here to support us, right? Just connect into the highest dimension that was here to support and to point things out to help us through this. And I also want to make sure that I can test as Keiko. So I've got a strong guess for Keiko, weak for Linda. So yeah, we're good to go. All right. So you ready to find some uh, beliefs here? The second yes. part of this parallel <laughs> belief system. Now, you know, when we first tested it the last time, it was not inherited because these things could be inherited, right? When there was something, we need to oh. know something about this belief system. So let's just ask, is this second part of this belief system is anything here? Is this whole system? Is this something that was inherited? No. Okay. So, so we don't have an inherited belief system. I just wanted to double check that. All right. So you're ready to find these beliefs? Yes. Right, <laughs> I it. sure am. So is there a negative program? Of course. Yes, there is. So will we find it to the right? No, to the left in divine. Okay. You know, it's funny. Um, right now I'm using my laptop where I've used the, um, Oops, here we go. I used the iPad before. So I'm so using the iPad most of the time. I keep touching the screen on the laptop and not getting anywhere. Right? So that might happen throughout this time because I haven't conquered it yet. All right, we're looking to the right here, to the left. Faith. So we're in divine and faith. Let me just write that here. All right, this first one is divine, faith, and uh, let's find the belief system, the belief. Okay, so we're going to look. So we're just going to pick up when we get into these. Ugh, that double click always gives me that. We look for negative statements. So on here, you'll see negative statements. Right now, there's two sections. Sometimes there's like seven of them. So are we looking for this belief? Is it in section one? No, it's in section two. So we go there, right? And I don't like to read. I don't like to look at them. I don't like for Keiko to look at them. Yeah, I'm not looking. Don't worry. Influence the testing. <laughs> But we know there's six. So are we looking at number one, two, three, four? Number five, uh, Jesus doesn't have faith in me. Now, that's really interesting because I grew up Buddhist, kind of, mm -hmm. in a Buddhist culture. I mean, in Japan, like, this might be too much info, but it it's kind of like, it's almost part of the culture. And so it, usually the main culture goes along like Buddhism and, you know, a couple other ones all mixed together. And it's just so part of the culture that it's not something you can really separate. Uh -huh. But like, it's interesting that this is coming up because I'm really curious. Um, like, you know, as far as Jesus is concerned, I really only know him as like a Christian um, figure yeah and it, I don't have any like I don't know what what the right word would be um you don't know that you have a belief system around that yes exactly exactly but, but maybe also because you're in the healing world mm -hmm. it the, it's like uh, always spoken of the healer that Jesus was mm. so I wonder if maybe that's how it plays in but the other thing too is it could we could just put Buddha in place of Jesus because whenever we find these, mm -hmm. um, it's always that's the vibration of it, something similar, just like emotion code. We might find fear. Well, maybe it's not exactly fear, maybe mm -hmm. it's something like mm -hmm. fear, right? Um, so we can keep that in mind. So maybe okay, maybe yeah, 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 does mean something because 
he's a healer and you're talking about, you know, animal intuitive animal care, healing work with your the animals. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Yeah. I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah. You also do healing work with humans, not just mm-hmm. animals, you know, so maybe that pops in there or it could just be like, um, like, so that belief right there, it says, um, I, I have no hope. Well, maybe it's, it's something like that, but not necessarily like you've lost all hope, like you have no hope, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe, that's, maybe it's pulling in, um, doubts and fears or something so they they can only find so many statements that can yeah energy that then we find so i just trust that you know your subconscious mind took us to that one for a reason mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and if it and especially if it's more comfortable for you 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 just put we could, i could even type it in there buddha <laughs> but see it's not even buddha because i see him more as a philosopher okay so but maybe it's like a spiritual being spiritual being Mm-hmm. Okay, let, why, let's replace it with spirit. Let's do that, okay. right? That yeah, that spirit, that feels a that, little closer, like a spirit being of some sort that has maybe more of like a widespread respect or people have faith in. Right. Okay. All right. Good, because you got to feel comfortable with it, right? <laughs> so, so that's what we have here, right? Okay. Now we're going to ask: uh, Is there another negative program running? in this belief system. And yes, we have another one. So just mark that there. Go back to the beginning. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to move you. <laughs> I keep moving you around, Keiko. All right. Back to belief code. Okay. So this second negative program, will we find it? Is it on the left? It is on the left. Okay. Divine communication power. And we have survival down there. So we have survival and let's click in there and then I'll type in what it is afterwards. All right. So something here to the right, no, to the left, codependency, sabotage, victim. So we have survival victim, which is where we're going to find this next belief. belief. And then I'll just, uh, you know, because we did speak about these things in the first video, but just so people know that these, all of these different seven sections correspond with uh root it was chakras so right now we're corresponding with the root chakra in the survival area and we have victim so we go down here let's click on it okay negative statements seven sections uh is it odd even so is it two four six okay section six so we've got ten of them Odd, even, two, four, six, eight, ten. So we're looking at ten. Others dominate me. Interesting. All right, so others dominate me. That's what we're coming up with here. Let's go back to the beginning. Um, just seems a little slow moving here. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Is there another negative program in this part of the parallel system? No. Is there another negative program here? No. Okay. So I'm going to move down to limiting beliefs. Now, it could be that we just might not find as many in the parallel ones. Like, you know, I, anything can happen. The right, first so. one was pretty big. <laughs> in the first, first one, you one was had really four, big. Yeah, you had four negative programs. And you had three limiting, because you can have one to four negative programs. You can have one to three limiting beliefs, uh, usually only one faulty core belief, unless it's a different type of belief system. And you may or may not have the faulty core identity, Mm -hmm. which is something that comes up within between birth and seven. So maybe it didn't, you know, it didn't happen at that early age. So yeah, you had all of that. You had every single thing. (laughs) So in this one, we'll ask it one more time. Is there another negative program? No, there's only two there. Okay, do we have any limiting beliefs in this belief system? We do. All right, so would it be on the right? No, it's on the left. Is it divine? Can we hit? No, power. All right, so we're in power. Oh, went to go touch the screen again. All right, and there we go. Something on the right? No, it's not the right. It's the left. Is it ability, uh, comparison, expectation, performance? So we're at power performance. All right. What are we going to find here? Hmm. 
negative statements. All right, so we're looking to section one, section two, three. So we're in section two, and there's nine of those. Will it be odd or even? So it's odd, even, we're in evens. Two, four, six, no, eight. I'll never be good. Okay. I'll never be good. Now, uh, limiting beliefs you had on the other one, you know, I don't know how much they correlate to each other or if they even have to make any sense at all, but let's just look at it. You had, I don't trust people, can't let other people be as they are. Um, and if I speak up, I'll be judged and punished. Oh, yeah, that's the one that triggered that crazy yeah, memory. <laughs> that's where you had that memory. So anyway, for some reason, we have, I'll never be good. So we're we're kind of answering what comes up in the negative programs, limiting beliefs are kind of like the why of what happened. And so in that we had um, spirit doesn't have faith in me. Others dominate me. I'll never be good. So they seem to tie. Mm -hmm, tie mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, is there another limiting belief to this belief system we're looking at right now? Yeah, we have another one. Okay. All right, so let's go back to, oh, there you go, touching the screen again. <laughs> All right, back to belief. Can code. you imagine when this was like dial-up modem? Uh, my God. Some of your be... listeners are probably like way younger, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can you imagine? I... Well, actually, we probably wouldn't have Zoom, but, uh, Zoom yet. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just shows you how much everything's evolving, including us, right? We're constantly evolving. I know. So we have another limiting belief. Is it to the right? No, it's to the left. Divine. Okay. We're in divine category. All right. Uh, right side. Nope. Left side. Faith. God. So we have divine and God. Jump the gun there. Mm -hmm. the, oops. Divine slash God. All right. So what are we going to get here? It's a little slow. Like the the uh, actually the the app that you can use on your phone or your iPad moves a lot faster. Oh, interesting. It's online, it just seems to go a bit slower. Okay, so are we looking at section one, two, three, section four? All right, and there's eleven of them. So is it odd? Yes. Is it one, three, five, seven, nine, five? Uh, I fear God. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Right. I fear God. Let's see if there's another. Is there another limiting belief? Oh, we got another limiting. So this one's full on the limiting beliefs, but it just wasn't with the. Um, were there any other negative programs? No. Okay. So let's go back to the beginning. Okay. Um, so this next limiting belief. Is it it's right side? All right. So is it insight, love, passion? Okay. Passion and uh, right side again, left side, no, right side. Uh, is it death, scarcity, time? So we've got passion and time. Oops, hitting the wrong key there. Passion time. All right, what are we going to find in passion and time? Passion time, yes. Negative statements. All right, is it section one, two, three? Okay, section three. Nine of those. Would it be an odd number? Yes. So is it a one, three, five, seven, nine? Nine timing is wrong. Ah, well, let's get rid of that. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, Timing is wrong because you're wondering, like, you know, mm -hmm. the whole thing about getting it going, when to get it going, am I, you know, what's blocking me? All right, so we're looking at time. Okay, so we'll see what all that means. Spirit doesn't have faith in me. Others dominate me. I'll never be good. I fear God. Timing is wrong. Okay, we can see how they can work together. So let's find mm -hmm. out what this faulty core belief is. That you know, where did this all come from? Okay, uh, right side, okay, insight, okay, 
side in side. All right. Uh, is it right? No. Left body defect, illness, pain, insight, and pain. Faulty core belief. I'm going to write down where it came from in a minute. Oh, no. Well, this is it. Insight pain. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm jumping ahead of myself already. <laughs> so, insight and pain. Okay. What will this tell us here? Curious. Yeah. We didn't hit any of these yesterday. Yeah. Okay, uh, section one. Okay, section one. Only six of them. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six? Six. Uh, I'm always in pain. Now, you know, there could have been a time where you felt that. It, not, I know you had physical things here and there throughout, right? Uh, could have been emotional. Uh, who knows when when you grabbed onto that thing, mm -hmm. that belief. I'm always in pain. All right, but let's see if there's a, a faulty core identity that goes along with it. So is there a faulty core identity here? No, we don't have a faulty core identity on this one. So this is what we have. This is really interesting. I'm just kind of taking it all in. Um, you know... I think this one has a lot to do with when I had a lot of the physical challenges um, from like pure stress and exhaustion. Um, and I crashed for <laughs> a very long time. And I mean, you know, everything happens for a reason that got me into all the holistic health coaching and all the right. great things and energy healing. So it works out, but I think there's this, um, and the pain, I, I'm going to take that a little wider because I think that pain goes back to what we were talking about a little bit yesterday with that energy, um, and not having enough resources or yeah. some mm -hmm. level of discomfort and yeah. just, you know, kind of like pain, but not like like a stabbing hurting pain but more of like a exhaustion where i can't <laughs> function right. properly and i think that puts a lot of that fear of i think when it says i fear god that one i was having a little bit of a harder time wrapping my head around um but it kind of sort of ties in with, was it the spirit doesn't have faith in me? That one. I mean, a, a, maybe a it's the trust. That one here, yeah. yeah. I think the negative program, I wonder if it has to do with a trust, you know, like since I'm in so much pain, like, you know, does spirit not have faith that I can do this kind of thing? Maybe there might yeah. be a little bit of that question doubt. That's kind of where this well, one I feels like it's going. And also, don't forget these are these could have been born out of when you were really young, and it just things piled up on mm, it, and, mm -hmm. and you never know how energy is going to connect with. That's true. Yeah, um, but okay. So this is what we have, right? Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else we need to know about this belief system? No. Anything we need to know about each individual, any individual one? So I'm getting no for now. I'm going to okay. ask you, and probably before we um, release them, but let's find all the associations. Because they'll always be just like with body code. Um, because now we did so much teaching on that last video. Now I'm like not doing any of it because I know you know all this. <laughs> but that we cannot pull all these beliefs out unless we find anything that's associated. Because if we don't get anything that's kind of tied into it, that's associated it, to it, those beliefs can just come right back. And it's kind of like if you don't get all the pieces of it, um, or you only or only working on the negative programs the stuff at the top and you cut that off and you're thinking, Oh, I'm good, but there's more to it and it'll just grow back. So we're looking to get everything. And the way to know that we're getting everything is to look for any associations to the whole system. So most of the time it starts out with emotions. So we'll just ask here, um, are there any associations? Maybe there's none doubt it, but you know. <laughs> I know there's, I'm sure there's emotions. <laughs> are there any associations that are, connected to uh this belief system so there are are there limiting beliefs yeah so let's start with the limiting uh, not limiting beliefs are there um 
what are they called again? <laughs> emotions. Do we have any um, trapped emotions that are causing, attached to these limiting beliefs? Yeah. Okay. So let's go to the emotion code chart. Come on. Here mm -hmm. we go. Okay. So there you can see it, everybody. And I'll just scroll. Oh, we can see it all. Okay, good. So um, let's find the first one. This trapped emotion, the first association that we have here, will we find it in A, B, odds, even? So is it two, four, six, B, six, pride, shame, shock, trapped emotion. I'm just going to put T-E for that, mm -hmm. emotion of shock. Okay. Is there another one? Another trapped emotion? Yeah. Okay. So would it be in A, B? Okay. Uh, odds? No, even. So is it two, B, two? Is it failure, helplessness, hopelessness, lack of control, low self-esteem? So now we have low self-esteem. Okay. We have another trapped emotion. We do. Another TE. This time, let's start. Is it in B? No, it's in A. Okay. So is it A odds? No, A evens. Okay, still evens here. Two, four, six. A six. Humiliation, jealousy, longing, lust, overwhelm. <laughs> Trapped emotion, overwhelm. Oh, you know what? Sorry, Keiko. It's because I'm kind of, I, I think it was on my mind that I, I, I wanted to try and do a quick video on this. Mm -hmm. I, I'm forgetting to clear each one as we go. <laughs> <laughs> the belief system, you know, you clear the whole thing after mm -hmm. you find all these, but you have to clear each because we didn't clear, we didn't pull any beliefs yet. Mm -mm, nope. No. But associations, you want to do them, you know, one at oh, a time. Oh, okay. I'm ready. Yeah. So we're gonna we're just gonna release this trapped emotion shock. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, good. Okay, that's released. Was there anything we were supposed to decode about it? No, there wasn't, right? So we released that one. All right. I can't see what I'm typing here. All right. Now, so let's go to low, low self-esteem. Is there anything we need to know about low self-esteem? And there isn't. So we can just, we just swipe that one away. Just letting it go. Ooh, feels good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you only need to swipe three times, but you know, we just do what feels good here. Okay. Anything to know about overwhelm? Oh, something to know about overwhelm. Okay, so we could find an age, right? Well, let's ask mm -hmm. this. Is this an inherited trapped emotion? No. So let's find an age for overwhelm. Um, I forget your age. 52? I don't remember. I'm 49. 49. Oh, 40, 49. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, Close enough. Been between the ages of 1 and 20. Yeah. So would it be between 1 and 10? No, 10 and 20. 10 and 15. 15 and 20. Okay, so 15, 16, 17. Age 18. Anything come to mind regarding, or anything just pop in your mind right now? Uh, college, starting college. Okay. So um, any particular thing? So let's just ask, does this have to do with starting college? Yeah. Let, maybe we don't need to know. Is there anything more we need to know about that? Yeah. So there's something we need to know about when you were starting college that would tie into this belief system. Doesn't have faith. Others dominate me. I'll never be good. I fear God. Timing is wrong. I'm always in pain. Well, let's ask if it has to do with, does this have to do with uh, academics? Is it with academics? Okay. So is it, not, is it with people? People, So people you associated with? No. So it has to do with the actual classes. That that makes sense. I mean, I had been going back and forth between Japan and the U.S. And so I had a lot of gap years in both places. So, you know, now that I'm in college, it was like, okay, I've got to be able to you know, do well. And I felt behind. Oh, well, I always felt behind. <laughs> yeah. I've always felt behind in my life <laughs> because, you know, when I came first to the U.S., I didn't speak English. And yeah. then when I went back to Japan, I had like four, no, six years of like no English or no Japanese and behind in school. And yeah. then when I came back, I had like another big, like, four, I think that one was a four year blank of up to like getting into college time of, you know, like no English. 
And so I always felt like I was behind. So there was definitely overwhelm and, um, yeah, figuring, you know, that, that whole, I'll never be good. That kind of, <laughs> uh, even, even like feeling that you're caught up and you're on track, you know, after all of that, that you went through kind of thing. Um, well, I was still behind cause like I, I was 18. And so there were many, many years of, um, so, so I was in Japan four years prior to like the year of U.S. high school before I went to college. So, okay, yeah, um, I can see. I was, yeah, there was that. That was a very overwhelming time, <laughs> and then you know I had to be on my own. So, and you know you can see how that might tie into like I'll never be good. Mm -hmm. or others mm -hmm. dominate me because they're like maybe maybe in your mind they're all on track. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Always in pain. So maybe that pain was always feeling like you had to catch up or you have to, uh, like you're ne never on par, you're never up to speed or whatever. I don't know. And I think I was still in some pain back then. <laughs> A oh, lot of like, pain. Yeah. yeah, as well. So, okay. So let's just ask, is there anything more we need to know about overwhelm? No. So that's, okay. right. so we just brought up enough of it that the subconscious wanted to know. Okay. So we're just going to swipe that away. Ooh. The shivers. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. All right. So we release that. Is there another trapped emotion that that is connected here? So there's another one. All right, let's see. Uh A. So we're in A. Odds. A odds. Is it one, three, five? One, three, five. Okay, I thought five was weak for a second. One, three, five. All right. A five. Yeah. Okay. So is it um, blaming, dread, fear, horror. <laughs> Is that resonating? No, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure I've experienced that. But all right, so not... let's just see if we need to know anything. Do you know? Do, do we need to call up anything or know anything about horror? Anything we need to uncover here? No. Okay, good. So we can just release it. So let's release this trapped emotion of horror. <laughs> Ooh, it feels good though I'm getting these shivers every time ah, all right let's add a little extra light to all of this that we're doing here okay good so uh release that's release I don't think that one's ever come up yet so that's interesting uh, yeah. <laughs> or release the overwhelm so let me just make sure I keep my notes up to up to speed okay all right. Is there another trapped emotion? Yes. Uh, A. No. B. Okay. So is it odds? Evens. Okay. Uh, two, four, six. B6. Uh, pride. Here we go. B6. Pride. Anything to know here? Anything we need to discover, decode, understand? No. All right. So we can just release that one. Okay. One. Oh, yeah. Nice big shiver. Two. Ooh. Three, feel that energy moving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, all right. A little extra love there. Okay, so um, released. Yeah. All right. Let's find an, something else. Is there another trapped emotion? So we'll just keep asking for trapped mm -hmm. emotions. And when we get to all of those, we'll see if there's anything more. Uh, usually then it's body code. It's another trapped emotion. Uh, A. Okay, so is it odds? No, it's evens. Uh, two, four, six, A6, humiliation, jealousy, longing, lust, overwhelm again. Mm. Th that's a bit of a theme. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we'll just clarify in case people are wondering, why do you have overwhelm again? Is this an, another vibration of overwhelm? Yeah. So it's just another time. And there's only like what, I don't know, what is it, 60 or whatever trapped emotions on the chart. So when we hit an emotion, it's that. Or something similar to that. And not only that, you could trap these emotions for different reasons all throughout time, even for the same subject. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. It's just another experience where that you didn't process the energy and just got stuck in your body. So that's what a trapped emotion is. So um, so we have overwhelm. Anything more to know about overwhelm? No. Okay. So <laughs> it's not when you were 18. You know, we, we don't need to find that. Is it the same as before? No, it's, it's something new. So let's just release that. 
Pico's already re- released. <laughs> like, like, really? I'm getting it out of here. <laughs> I just go. All right, thank you. Now you might notice, uh, is that release? Yeah. Keiko likes to, uh, you know, swipe for herself. And you can do that. Like if you're working with a practitioner, I, I tell all my people, if you want to swipe along with me, feel free. We don't need to do that, but it, you know what? It's not, I, I would do it. Someone's working on me. Okay. Uh, is there another trapped emotion? Yep. Okay. Another trapped emotion. Oops. Okay. What do we have? Number seven. Okay. And um, where are we now? Are we in A? No, we're in B. Is it odds? Okay. So is it B? One, three, five. B5. Conflict, creative insecurity, terror, unsupported, wishy-washy, creative insecurity. Oh, I, love, I, I love when this one comes up. You know, we're we're creative beings. That's what we are. We're creators. We don't want to <laughs> yeah. have any kind of block to, all right, to that. Okay, anything we need to know about creative insecurity? No, nothing more. So we can release this. One. Two. <laughs> Three. You know, I've got um yeah, burping and coughing on that one. Okay, I had a little I've been yawning away too <laughs> since we started release. All right, so we got that one. Okay, let's see if there's another one. Is there another trapped emotion? No. No more trapped emotion. Another trapped emotion? No. So uh is there something more? But there is. So we can use the body code. Yes. Okay, so back to the body code. And usually they'll be in the energy area, but we'll see what happens. Um, it could be anything. It could be anything anywhere. As Dr. Brad says, I just work here. <laughs> <laughs> Conscious mind tells me what to do. I just work here. Okay, so are we looking for something here on the right? No, on the left, it's in energy. Okay, so we're there. Uh, to the right, nope, left. Okay, post-traumatic offensive mental area. Okay, so we go in there. Uh, something on the right. No, it's on the left. A will to, a no will to. We have a broadcast message. Mm. Okay, so let's go to the chart over there. Will we find this broadcast message on the chart? Yeah. All right, because sometimes it might be something we need to sort out, but we know what it is here. Okay. Are we looking in um, column A, B? We're in B, C, so B. Is it odds, evens? Uh, two, four, six. B6. They disrespect me. They don't care. They hate me. They hurt me. Why me? So some why me energy coming. All right. Broadcast message. Why me? See if we need to know anything about it. Do we need to know anything about this? No, we don't need. So we can just release the why me energy. Mm-hmm. Okay. One. Ooh, I like two big shivers. Three. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. Add a little extra light there. And that's released. So, being the energy junkie I am, I always like to just add extra love. And we're taking <laughs> stuff out. I just love to put the love back in. Is there something more? Another association here. Okay. We have another one. Uh, let's. Oh, wrong side. Okay, so we're going back to body code, back to the beginning. All right, so are we looking here to something on the right? No, it's on the left, and it's in energy. <laughs> okay, um, right side, right side, no. Okay, left side, uh, post-traumatic, offensive. So in the mental, I find a lot of times it's either going to be like where we are now, going to mental, but reverberation and an emotional, not emotional, reverberation will come up too. Even allergies mm. and intolerances. All right. Okay, so we're looking for something here on on the right side, left side. No, it's on the right side. Is it a? It's a memory field. Okay. See if we. I'll, I'll ask if we need to know uh, anything about it. Do we? No, we don't need to know anything about it. We might have had to call up the memory, but we don't need to. So can we just release that memory field? Yeah. Okay. One. Oh yeah, big shivers there. Two. Three. Oh, thank you, God. Thanks for taking that. A little extra love. And we're good. Okay, so that's released. Okay, is there something more? No. All right, so we got all of the associations. We released all of those. So now we can go back up to um, the beliefs. 
So I'm going to ask, well, let's just do this little testing thing. All right. I'm going to, I'm just going to ask each one if it's, if it's strong, it's a yes. You have it there, right? This way when we release it, we'll test it again. We'll see if it's weak. That means it was released, right? So is it true for you that spirit doesn't have faith in you? Yeah. Is it true for you that others dominate you? Uh huh. Uh, you'll never be good. Okay. Uh, you fear God. Okay. Time is wrong. Time Timing is wrong. Okay. And uh, I'll always be in pain. Yeah. So they're all testing as true. Like those are true statements. But now we're going to release them. Okay. Uh, I just want to ask, is there anything we need to know before releasing these about this whole system, not about any individual beliefs. No, there's nothing we need to know about them. So we're just going to pull them one at a time. I'm just going to keep swiping away. Okay. Swipe along with me. She's already going. <laughs> <laughs> ready, ready. Let's get rid of it. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, you just have to swipe them away. But I like to I like to speak a little bit. So we're just asking that uh, spirit doesn't have faith in me. Just be pulled, just released, sent to the light, dissolved, gone forever. <sighs> All right, thank you. And this negative program of others dominate me. We're just pulling that one, right? Again, send it to the light, give it to God, give it away. Don't need it, letting it go, never to return. All right, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go to the limiting belief of I'll never be good. Pulling that one, releasing it, letting it go, <laughs> letting it go. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. And now the I fear God, we're lifting that. Sending it to the light, dissolving it in the light, letting it go, releasing it from your whole entire system. Okay, good. And then we have uh, time is timing is wrong. So we're pulling that timing is wrong, sending it to the light, letting it go, releasing it forever. No longer need it. Okay, good. And then uh, what do we have left? I'm always in pain. All right, that's that faulty core belief. We're just pulling that out of there. Letting it go, releasing it, giving it to the light, giving it to God. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So did we release all of these? So I'm getting a yes. I've got like rolling goosebumps right now. Yeah, I've been kind of like burping and yawning. So <laughs> something's like moving around. <laughs> all right. So let's ask here. Um, so let's see if these any of these statements are true. Uh, spirit doesn't have faith in you. No. Uh, others dominate you. You'll never be good. You fear God. Timing is wrong. Um, you're always going to be in pain. No. All right. So they're all gone. Perfect. <laughs> now, we need to see if there's any that need to be replaced. Ooh. <laughs> all right. So, um, all right. So we're asking your subconscious mind, you know, um, do any of these negative programs need to be replaced? Okay. We have at least one. Um, do we need to replace spirit doesn't have faith in me? No. Others dominate me. So we're going to replace the others dominate me. Oops. Two. Okay. Um, let me just make my notes. Can I keep myself good? Okay. So we're replacing others dominate me. Let's go to belief code. Back to the beginning. Here we go. All right. Is the belief to replace others dominate with me here on the chart? Yeah. All right. Would it be on the left? It is. Is it in divine communication power? Okay. That makes sense. Power and uh, right side. Okay. Change, effort, growth, strength. So we have, we're going to replace it with something in power, strength. All right, so what are we going to find here? Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Positive statements, right? We were in negative statements before. Now we're in positive. We are replacing. Where is it? Others dominate me. We came to power and strength. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so now we have the positive statements. There's seven sections. Is this an odd section? No. So it's even. Is it two, four, six? Okay. <laughs> the last one. No way. We're the last one away. on the chart. But all right. So we have eight of these. 
So I'm just going to go one through eight. Are we looking at, is it, is a replacement, is it number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. I allow others to discover their own power. That is so cool because I'm always about wanting to empower others. Okay. (laughs) I allow others to discover uh, their own power. Yeah. So they can, you know, you you don't have to, you're no longer going to be feeling dominated. You're like, okay, they can, they can find their own power. It's fine. You know, (laughs) it's nothing, nothing to do with me. In fact, I'm going to help them do it. (laughs) Right. (laughs) All right. Good. So, so we want to put that one in, right? So let's do that. So we're just going to download into every cell of your body, highest and best way for you throughout all time, space, reality, all planes of existence, all dimensions, like all timelines, right? Just downloading this new belief that was, I that is, I allow others to discover their own power. And I'm really soaking that in, taking ownership and really pulling it into your system. Okay. Thank you, God. Ooh, that felt good. I think I'm back out there again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that was nice. So is it so let's just ask. Well, first of all, did we get that? Yeah. Um others dominate you. No. Okay. Uh you allow others to discover their own power. Yeah. All right, good. So are there any limiting beliefs, these three here, that we need to replace? There are. Uh, do we need to replace I'll never be good? No. Do we need to replace I fear God? No. Do we need to replace timing is wrong? All right. That seems like a good one. We had some yeah. stuff with time on last time, I believe, too. Right? I'm going to take a look at it. Do you remember? I felt like there was something with timing, but maybe I'm <laughs> I can't <recalling> remember. <laughs> I'm like floating around, so yeah. <laughs> No, no, there isn't. Wait, let me see. No, there was nothing. Probably because I I was saying like some of the concern was, is the timing wrong? Oh, right, right, right. That's probably where it's coming from. That's right. And it's actually up there in the notes, right? Is the timing? (laughs) Okay. So um, let's find out what we're going to replace that with. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay. And just to be sure, okay, timing is wrong is what we're looking to replace here. Okay, so is the replacement for this somewhere on the left? Yes. Uh, Is it divine? Yes. Okay, Uh, right side, no, left side, faith, God, divine and God. Um, Timing is wrong. Here we go. Couldn't find where I was. (laughs) Divine. God. Okay. What's the, what's the new belief going to be? Those sort of statements. Okay. Section one, two, three, section three. Okay. So we're looking for this belief. There's 10 of them. Is this new belief replacing? Uh, where is it? Make sure timing is wrong. Is it in the odd numbers? No, even numbers. So is it two, four, six, eight, ten, eight? I connect with God at will. Mm. I connect with God at will. All right. I like that. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I think if you can, if you're connecting with God at will, then you can always decide what the timing is. And you guys have mm-hmm. your own thing going on there. So, all right, let's download that one. I'm going to download that it's everywhere, all timelines, into every single cell of your being, of your body, every single space that is that you occupy, right? We're just downloading this into all of you through all time, space, realities, all dimensions, all planes of existence, really soaking it in. Taking it in. <sighs> All right. I was doing that one with both hands. I was like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, 
you know, and, and I'll just say, cause people watching this, you know, I don't know if anybody else said, I just like, I say those things cause it just feels good to me. You don't have to say a word. You just download it. You just do this. You just do the swipes and you put in the new one in your intention is putting it in. That's all you need. So I just like to do it that way. All right. So let's ask. Um, so is it true? Timing is wrong. No. Uh, is it true that you connect with God at will? Yeah. Okay. So we got that. And you know what? Let me just uh, actually forget it because I was going to make them bold. I'll do it later. <laughs> all right. So all we have now is one faulty core belief. Do we need to replace this faulty core belief? No, we don't need to replace it. So we only had to do the replacements of I allow others to discover their own power and I connect to God at will. That's it. That's how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this was interesting. This one was different from the last one. Very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it's running alongside, right? And then we have one more of these to, really, to take care of the whole entire situation. Um, That's amazing. I mean, it didn't like, you know, it, it like on the surface, creating like an online class would seem like such a simple thing. But yeah. for it to have so many different belief system you know, kind of sort of holding me back in so many different ways that that's really, really quite interesting. I mean, like yeah. I would have never guessed. No, no way. Especially we might think we could have a belief system, but did we have, until I've come across belief code, I never thought you could have something like this running alongside. I know I didn't either. I, I had no idea about the three parallel. Well, this one's a three parallel, but I mean, you know, yeah. the other interesting part, it didn't happen here, but is that if it is inherited, you could have the whole thing be inherited. And it's like, you're the, you're in the middle and you have the father's side and the mother's side. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> that wasn't the case for this one. Okay. Let me get these eyes off. Um, all right. So I think we'll just end this one here. How are you feeling? Uh, two belief systems gone and closer to my goal. <laughs> And, uh, and, let, and, you know, we'll just continue. Let's go. We'll, we'll end this one and we'll start the next one. And we might as well film that one too. We'll okay. be on the filming That'll role. Be fun. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank so. you. That was awesome. As always. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye, everybody who's watching. <laughs>